video is about pinning bees, pinning bees and wasps. We're going to show you pinning techniques. We'll have another video that covers gluing techniques for very small specimens and dried specimens. So the basic idea is that we'll show you how to insert a pin, where to insert it, and the height of a, a bee pin on the specimen. So initially you'll start with a set of bees. They either come right out of a kill jar and are fresh and uh, soft, or they've come out of alcohol and you've processed them, um, dried and cleaned them. And what you want to do is you want to get a pin to go through the specimen and be placed between the two tegulies, between the two front wings on the scutum. And when it's on in that position, you're going to be shifting the pin to the one side or the other, usually to the right-hand side, um, so it's not in the center line. The reason for that is if it's in the center line, it's going to be destroying um, characters that are associated with the middle part of the scutum, which are often important ones for bees. And if the specimen is very small, it can take up a good chunk of the entire specimen. So after you insert the pin into the specimen, and the way that I hold this is I hold the specimen between my thumb and my forefinger in one hand, and then with the other hand I have the pin, and then I take my middle finger and I press against the bee specimen. I place the pin into this top part of the uh, specimen in the right position. I move it part way through and I either use my fingers to slide the specimen up to the uh, near to the top of the pin or in a, with, particularly with small specimens I will jab it into the uh, styrofoam just like that to um, get the pin partially through and then it's easier to run up to the top. Um, in terms of height on the pin, some people will use a pinning block and that's fine, but it takes a little bit of time away from the uh, process of, of pinning up many bees in a day. So um, it's better to learn how to set the height of the bee on the pin without using a pinning block. And to do that, I can use my thumb and my forefinger as a stop for I run the bee up to um, an area that's about a third, maybe a little bit less from the top of the pin. Um, functionally, what you want is to be able to put a number of labels below the specimens and that when that, though that specimen is put into the tray, the labels aren't getting um, uh, pushed back up into the specimen and there's plenty of pin that can go into the tray. And you don't want the specimen too high so that when someone with fat fingers picks that specimen up that they're actually breaking off um, antennae or other body parts when they're trying to look at and use the specimen. So it's a balance, um, but it's something that you can prick very quickly um, get used to um, setting without having to use pinning blocks. Um, and then the bottom line is that um, you want that specimen to be horizontal to the pin and not roll to either side. And um, with uh, again, with a bit of practice, you can do that all uh, quite quickly. So we want to show a few uh, pictures of specimens that have been pinned very well and a few specimens that have not been pinned well. There's a specimen with a pin in the far right-hand side away from the center line near the tegula. So that's a, a specimen in the proper position. Here's another one, same uh, sort of location. And you can s clearly see the pitting and the other hairs that are often um, located in the middle. Then we'll show you a series of three specimens not pinned so well. So here's the specimen is pinned essentially in the center. And that's the basic problem is the pin is in the center um, of the um, scutum and it's going to be blocking um, important, uh, important features. And this is particularly important when the specimen is very small. Again, we have some videos coming up that will show you how to glue specimens, what gets rid of the problem of, of pins going through small, small specimens, period. But sometimes you're stuck and you need to pin, so you need to be careful in where you put that pin.